everybody. Today we're going to take a look at the Parrot SWAT Airborne Night Drone. That's a gem right there. Look at it. Look how mean it looks. Anyway, uh, I have a few of these coming in and I'm sending one out to somebody. So I don't know if it's going to be this one. I have, uh, let's see. Okay, this is the Airborne Knight, and I have this McLean, and then I think the SWAT coming in. So once I get them, then I'll send out uh, which one I think is the best one. Because I have the Mambo, and that's the one I use all the time. The Mambos, but that's what these are. These are just Mambos, but they're dolled up with different stuff. This one has, like, some lights on the front, and the other one... There's another one that has some toy guy you can pop in there and you know stuff like that so uh even mine the mambo it has the, that little gun on it and that little grabber but i've never used any of that stuff so let's uh take a look inside here and oh everything's gone oh, i already opened it up it's over here this is what you get in it as you get not the controller. Well, that's what the guy I'm sending one of these to is, is, is fishing for a controller now. Because you have to have a, a controller. These things fly so great with the controller and fly like such shit without it. So you want to go ahead and get your uh, yourself a controller. Now, if I decide to keep this one, I would remove these guards. But for right now, I'm going to leave the guards on just in case I send this out. Because you're going to have to do a little picking to remove the guards. Because they're on there pretty good. I mean, they'll come off, but you're going to have to squeeze and pinch and pop and do all that crap to get it out. And it comes with the USB cord, the battery, and the manual. And that's it. The battery is your standard Mambo battery. It's a 3.7550. Um... Another thing with these, with the controller, is that you have to bind it up to the app one time before you can use it without using the controller. I mean, without using the app. Don't ask me how it knows, but once you, if you was to like, okay, just for an example yesterday, because this is new. This wasn't used or anything like that. This is brand new. Once I took it out of the box... And then I threw a battery in because I already had some batteries charged for my Mambo. So I throw the battery in and then turn on the, uh, the controller. It never recognizes this. It never recognizes the quadcopter. But once you turn on the app and bind this to the app and then the controller... Then you never have to turn the app on anymore. You just plug the battery in here, turn on the controller, and it'll it'll bind. But like I said, I don't know how it knows that. It just does, <laughs> okay? But, you know, I did that with my Mambo the first time. I've never used the app since until yesterday when I turned this on. So I haven't, I never, until yesterday, I never turned this app on for two years, okay? <laughs> because uh, I never needed to. And it remembers the settings, too, so you have to go in there and uh, set your flight speed settings. Because this thing, these Mambos, they're pretty, actually, pretty fast. I have mine set to medium. Um, the pitch on these things can be very radical if you have it set all the way high. I mean, it like that, you know. So, I have mine set at the medium for all three of the settings, you know, so. Anyway... And this runs on Bluetooth, by the way. This isn't Wi-Fi, so you don't have to go into the Wi-Fi and do uh, passwords and any of that stuff. So anyway, you just pop the battery in and it'll automatically come on. Then you turn on the app. Which I'm looking for. Okay, it's the Free Flight Mini or Free Free Flight 3. 
Okay, it says establishing connection on there. And then it'll give you this connect fly pad option. Okay, if you have a fly pad, if, turn on your fly pad and it'll give you that option. That's how you bind it. Okay, that's how you bind it right off the bat. It's really simple. Okay, this thing is as simple as pie. Okay, now if you have these, if you have it plugged in and you have the app turned on, if you don't have the fly pad turned on, you're going to get the little joysticks here on the screen. But once you turn on the fly pad, those disappear, which we're going to do right now. So now the fly pad's going to have to bind up to it. Okay, so you saw they disappeared and then they give you your battery strength and your flight time. So then you want to, if you turn around, then it has your little light options here. So you can click that, and then if you turn that, it does the flashing lights. And then if you hit this one, it has like this little strobe thing, or not strobe, but it, where it dims out like that. And then it has a, you can go solid with it, or you can, you know, there's just different options with this, so... But that's the gimmick of this one is these flashing lights, which I really don't care about the gimmicks. So we'll just set that down there and then we'll just take off with the uh, controller. But that's how you got to bind it up the first time you get it. So and now another thing is with this and this is for the person that's going to wind up getting this is if you go into the settings menu when you're here and this will tell you your flight time and your battery percentage here so and then you would have that plugged on you know sitting on the controller here but once you go into the settings menu like i'm going to do right now once you do that you lose control with the transmitter okay it just shuts that off temporarily until you would go in here and then here is your speeds your vertical speed your rotation speed you see i have them all set in the middle there um it has your piloting mode and your safety it has your max altitude here i'm going to set mine to 33 feet but now that's in here in the when you're in the app Okay, where it says max altitude 33 feet. But when you're flying it without the app, and you're just flying, it goes way higher than that. Okay, it goes way higher than 33 feet if you fly it without using the app. So you're looking at like five minutes with this. That's what I usually get with these Mambos, is like five minutes, you know, five minutes and change. So basically that's about it. Now if I was to go in here and turn up these settings, let's see how fast that would go there. Oh, I gotta take it out of the settings menu there. See how how it'll go if I if I put it onto the super fast, okay. So you gotta uh that's why I don't keep it like that. Okay? I just keep it in the middle. <laughs> Let me put it back there because I don't want it to keep it there. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough for me right there. All right, guys, that's enough. Let me do another flip. Yeah, these things do not fly. This thing does not fly as good with these guards. These guards really hurt the performance of this thing, man. Big time. Big time. If I was keeping this one, I would definitely have these babies off instantly. Oh, my first crash. <laughs> All right. There you go. The, the mini SWAT airborne night drone it's a real beauty yeah definitely you want to take these guards off but like i said i don't know if i'm keeping it or not so i'm just going to leave them on let somebody else deal with it all right guys i'll talk to you later